hello welcome to another video in this video uh, we are going to discuss an important theorem okay, uh, which is called the Cayley's theorem first uh, uh, let's discuss the, um, the statement of the theorem see every group is isomorphic to a group of permutations Every group is isomorphic to a group of permutations. Uh, the proof, we can prove uh, the result uh, using the following steps. So let G be any group. Uh, the given group is uh, taken here as G. Then we must find a group uh, bar, G bar of permutations that uh, uh, that we uh, and that, that we shall show that after that after defining that or after find, after giving that group we will show that it is isomorphic to uh, g so the step uh, the, uh, the first step is uh, the given group the first step we have we are the we have the given group then we take uh, another group we take another group that group is uh, the, the group of permutations it is it is denoted by g bar and after that uh, we will uh, show that g is isomorphic to uh, g bar and for any g in g uh, we take an element small g in g for uh, any element small g in g we define a function uh, tg uh, from a g to uh, g to g by see we define a function tg t of uh, capital tg subscript g defined from g to g by tg of x equal to gx here x varies uh, uh, in g x is allowed to x is any element of g an arbitrary element of g that means x can vary in g uh, see that uh, uh, the definition of function is tg equal to tg of x equal to gx here you know uh, g is a fixed element so we uh, see uh, also you know uh, uh, yeah uh, first we fix that element in g yeah it is fixed and then uh, we define it uh, it's gx tg of x equal to gx for but this is true for all uh, x in g clearly tg is uh, is one to one and one to see so uh, for a fixed uh, fixed element g uh, g is a fixed element Clearly, Tg is 1 to 1 and 1 to. We can prove that it is 1 to 1 and 1 to, and Tg is defined from G to G. Uh, to establish that uh, Tg is 1 to 1, first, uh, we suppose that uh, Tg of uh, x1 equal to Tg of x2, uh, and that happens in, in G itself. See, Tg x1 is a, uh, is a, is a, is a member of uh, G, <coughs> and Tg x2 also. And suppose uh, these two images are same, then we know that gx1 equal to uh, using that conversion method we have uh, gx1 equal to gx2 and then uh, by cancelling uh, both sides uh, or applying or pre-multiplying both sides of uh, the last expression by g inverse and then we get that g inverse of gx1 equal to g inverse of gx2 and this gives that x1 equal to x2 so uh, so uh, uh, tg is uh, one to one Next, uh, Tg is uh, on to. We can show that uh, Tg is on to. So, for that, for any x in G, we uh, take an arbitrary x uh, in G. Uh, then there exists. Uh, we and, and and then we can find, or then we can we can uh, take an element um, which is G inverse of x. So, for x in G, we take G inverse of x. G inverse x. Uh, it's an element of G such that Tg of uh, then if we take a Tg of uh, G inverse x, Tg of G inverse x equal to G of G inverse x. G of G inverse x uh, uh, equal to x. So, Tg is uh, onto. Uh, and therefore, uh, therefore, thus we have uh, uh, shown that uh, Tg is one to one and uh, Tg is one to. Then Tg is a permutation. Uh, we can also see that Tg is a permutation uh, on the set uh, uh, on the set G. Tg acts as a permutation. Uh, uh, moreover, you can see that Tg acts as a permutation on the set G. Uh, 
and let's take uh, g bar equal to g bar equal to tg uh, such that g is an element of g and so on uh, see here after uh, defining one tg one tg you can then uh, vary so in the beginning at the time of uh, the defining at the time of defining the function tg from g to g uh, we have fixed uh, the element uh, g but now it is allowed to vary because uh, there are uh, as many possibilities are there as there are uh, yeah, as they ask, uh, no, as there are numbers in uh, sorry, as there are elements in G, uh, that many possibility, uh, possibilities are there for uh, defining a function uh, like a TG. And then we uh, consider all, we have to consider all those functions uh, so that we can uh, obtain by allowing G to vary. <coughs> and then we can define and we, we take all those. Uh, uh, all those uh, functions and uh, we include it in uh, in a in a set in a set and, and denoted by a g bar so g bar equal to tg such that g is an element of g then g bar is a group where we can show that g bar is a group under the operation of a function uh, uh, composition see now uh, that is the important thing then uh, next we are going to uh, see so g then g bar uh, g bar as defined here is a group under the operation of a function operation to verify this uh, we first uh, uh, observe that for any uh, g uh, and any two elements g and h in g we, two uh, we take two elements g and h uh, from the first group g uh, we have tg of uh, uh, tg then tg dot th uh, of x is equal to tg dot here dot is the operation defined on that is uh, the, this is the operation on uh, on uh, uh, defined on g bar and that oh, that means it is the function composition operation so uh, tg uh, dot uh, th then we take x is equal to tg of uh, t of uh, t of hx uh, t of hx Oh, sorry. Um, it is. It is. It is an T G, if not not T actually, and there is one one T because T H of uh, T H of X. See the answer to or the value of uh, uh, T H of X is equal to H X, and thus uh, the defect of T has uh, has uh, gone. Then so uh, then T uh, is not required there. Uh, T is uh, is another. Uh, yeah, it's it's mistakenly uh, given there. So remove that T. So tg of thx and you can see that the correct one uh, here tg of, uh, of hx and without a t you can write hx after conversion and then um, what how can we convert it convert then tg of applying tg is effect here it's equal to g of hx g of hx and uh, then after getting this g, g, g of hx uh, or ghx your g into hx and after getting this you can uh, uh, interchange the elements you know, using the associativity property of the uh, of the operation which is defined on the uh, group g and you can write gh of x and then gh of x can be uh, written as um, sorry uh, it can be written as uh, uh, h g of x now we can write it by interchange oh it is now gh of x uh, therefore we can write uh, uh, by uh, by, by by writing uh, h actually then uh, interchanging h uh, that equal to uh, yeah but uh, you know uh, here you can take gh gh together okay and actually no need of uh, interchanging is required because we want to show that this operation how do we get uh, how do we combine this uh, these two elements so uh, interchanging is not uh, necessary here uh, so we can continue it uh, and then g of uh, hx uh, uh, then uh, we get that it is gh of x gh of x uh, and then uh, uh, taking it back to uh, or bringing uh, the effect of t here the function effect here then we get that t, uh, t of uh, gh of x t of ghx and thus uh, t of ghx equal to tg and th tg uh, tg dot th tg dot th is uh, h equal to tg dot th equal to t of uh, gh and this is the operation now, which is defined on uh, g bar 
So after defining this operation, then we want to verify one to one uh, whether all the uh, properties of a group, uh, yeah, whether all the axioms of group are satisfied. So for this, uh, it is uh, it follows that T E uh, is the identity. Uh, so for this uh, group, then T E X is the identity element, and then uh, T G inverse. Uh, we want to know what is the inverse of T G. That is T G inverse equal to T of G inverse. We can verify that whether it is uh, it acts as the inverse. So when one by one we can verify, and it's not a, a, a difficult a task. Uh, it's easy to write, uh, write this kind of uh, steps, and this type of steps can be written, and then you can verify that uh, these two are uh, uh, are satisfied. And since uh, the function composition is associative, and also, you know, uh, we already we know that uh, a function composition uh, is associative, and we have uh, verified all the uh, conditions. Uh, for uh, uh, the the second group defined group uh, G bar to uh, to be a group. Now the isomorphism uh, uh, need be uh, established. Yeah, isomorphism between first group to the second group. Uh, we want to show that there exists uh, an isomorphism. For that, we define a function phi from G to G bar, uh, which is defined as uh, phi of G is equal to T G. Okay, because T G is the, uh, yeah, the the functions available. So in this group, uh, functions are there. Uh, functions uh, uh, of the kind T G, which are defined. Uh, in the previous steps so they those functions are there and but, but you know and these function each function is related to one uh, member of a g and that member can be taken and it can be related to a tg uh, the function in this group and we define it as a function uh, as a new function phi phi of g is equal to t and clearly phi is a one to one uh, because because whenever g uh, equal to h then tg uh, must be equal to tg uh, tg must be equal to th so whenever g equal to h then tg must be equal to th uh, and, and then uh, it is on to uh, if i is on to uh, on to g, uh, if I is a function from g to uh, g bar on to, uh, it's beca uh, because uh, uh, we know that for every uh, every function which is available here is derived from uh, a member of g. So and that member can uh, is related to uh, uh, the function which is obtained uh, uh, present in g bar. That that itself says that uh, yeah, the function uh, phi is on to. Uh, next. Uh, See uh, the, an explanation. Uh, yeah, uh, for uh, yeah, one to one uh, is there, and suppose uh, it is not one to one. Say one to one itself is uh, one to one is not complete. See here. Uh, on the other hand, suppose uh, if T G equal to T H, and then uh, T G of E is equal to T H of E, and therefore G equal to uh, H. Uh, this is the these these steps says that uh, it is strictly one to one, and we can assume that T G equal to T H uh, to uh, and then uh, using the identity element T G of E equal to T G T H of E, then you can convert that G uh, equal to H G and then uh, can, uh, cancelling. Uh, and this itself implies that g equal to uh, h. So whenever t g equal to t h, two uh, functions or two elements in uh, g bar are same, then uh, its previous uh, then its uh, previous uh, links in uh, in g or 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 the or the generate. So we can say that uh, that function is generated by if t g is uh, t g uh, is an element here. Then we can say that g is, uh, t g is generated uh, from g. T G is generated from G and also T H, T H is generated from H. Likewise, we can say that then uh, the previous elements, uh, they are the the G and H are the previous elements uh, which exist in G and they must be equal. Now to say that it is on on to, uh, we uh, have stated that it is phi O is on to also. Uh, yeah. Uh, we have we can easily verify that it don't do that the statement uh, was uh, completed the uh, the explanation for this uh, the fact that phi is on to is over now uh, consider uh, now we want to show that phi is uh, operation preserving for that phi of x y equal to uh, we take phi of x y by considering two elements x and y in g uh, then phi of x y equal to and then immediately we can write uh, it as uh, t of x y t of x y yeah uh, it then uh, becomes uh, t x into t y um, 
uh, it can be uh, splitted into tx t of x y is equal to tx into t y we have seen that uh, this can be split into two in the previous uh, steps uh, we have uh, shown that tx uh, it, it, it becomes tx uh, dot t y tx dot t y that is equal to phi x uh, dot but tx equal to phi x uh, then uh, t y is phi y so phi x phi y uh, okay that is the uh, that's the end of the thus we have uh, seen that uh, thus we have uh, shown that uh, phi is uh, is an isomorphism uh, from a g on to uh, on to g bar that's the end of the uh, uh, the end of the proof the end of the Cayley's theorem proof of Cayley's theorem okay thank you